this rap world is, you know, it's real easy to talk that tough shit on the mic. It's very easy. Nigga, I'll kill you. Bang. We gotta talk about that bitch ass nigga Cass, whatever he, whoever he is. I don't even know him. Y'all think I'll be walking around talking as much shit as I do if somebody knocks me out? Y'all some funny motherfuckers. Yeah, that motherfucker's lying. Ain't never heard of that dude. Ain't never seen that dude before. I knew where those masters were. So me and a very dear friend of mine went and knocked. We set up a meeting, actually. The meeting is set up and we, you know, man, this is, this is, See, I'm kind of twisting the story. This fat motherfucker named Suge Knight uh, was the person who had the masters. Homeboy don't know me. Homeboy, I don't even think you know Suge. I hate it, Suge Knight. Someone who was cool with Miss Afini Shakur said that uh, there was a certain amount of money that would be paid if some masters could be found. And he don't even know the timeline. Well, she was, I was just, all those masters been gone. We got rid of all the Tupac masters in what, 98, 99? We had to turn off them all, all over to the state. We didn't have no music. My connection with Death Row, my homie Poppy, used to bodyguard Damon something who was married to Kim Kardashian. He used to be signed to Death Row. He wanted to get out of that deal. So they're living up here in Topanga or something. I remember Poppy called me like, can you come up here? Because Suge is supposed to be coming up here. Never, I can swear to God on my mama. Strike my dead mama, my mama dead right now. I never met this man before in my life. Never in my life. Before. Okay, but he is putting two and two together. Things he don't realize. These are paperwork things that we have. He talks about Damon, Damon, the one married to Kim Kardashian. He's talking about Damon Thomas. <laughs> when he talk about the Damon Thomas thing, that was somebody else that sued me that said I paralyzed him. That me and Shirk whooped on his ass and paralyzed him on the left side of his body when he was a bodyguard. That, that whole incident where he talking about he tried to come up to the studio and take the mask or you know, he tried to push his way in with his producer dude. He wasn't, those two niggas went to jail. I put both those niggas in jail. They got their ass whooped and, and went to jail. That's when Officer Piggy Reggie was his bodyguard. And it was me and a couple, a couple others I will not implicate. Then he, I guess he's been researching and learned and learned about Reggie Wright. Then he want to add, add me in and to call me Piggy or something like that. Homeboy don't know me. He says that it was 15 of us and him and Reg. No, it was 15 of them. And it was three of us. I can make three. We cracked it off. I think I left with a black eye. Ain't never met the nigga. Nigga ain't never put no hands on me. And we ain't never put no hands. And he even said trying to say it to make him feel good like he got a black eye. So while he was night night, he was <laughs> the masters were, it was one hard drive. So you think if this dude Cass came and did that to Shug? <laughs> Man, y'all yeah, just don't know. You know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to relinquish those masters from him. It's not something he obviously wanted to just do willingly. And a little skirmish happened, and uh, I still walked out pretty as a motherfucker. Y'all think Shug would let a nigga get away? I mean, Shug was home, y'all know what, 2004, 2005? If he would have seen Shug? That's when he would have saw him and Shug ain't had no, no uh, Tupac masters or anything like that. And anything that was around wasn't no death room material. That was all that stuff from when Tupac, pre-Tupac stuff that people be finding here and there. The moral to the story is I'm now the person who's in possession of those masters. So I left with, you know, a little scratch, a little lumpy lip but I also left with those masters. So everybody knows when you see a Tupac project, it probably came from me. Tell the nigga I said he's a motherfucking liar. And if he got any juice like he say, he know I'm about to go to the pen. So sick his little homeboys on me. <laughs> Whatever, we'll see what's up. We'll see who's the buster then. Y'all can keep asking, believing, listening to that dude. He ain't never heard of blood. He ain't never heard of, I mean, I'm not the blood, I'm not the blood.